Okay, welcome everyone to our coding bootcamp for Technovation. So you might not be quite sure of what you want, what platform you want to use um, for your project. So what are my options? So for your project, your options are App Inventor, Funkable, Java, uh, if you want to create an Android app, Swift, if you want to create an iOS app, and then this year we're actually opening it up to other languages and platforms, uh, especially because of the fact that we are allowing people to submit AI projects this year. Uh, and then also, as I mentioned, if you're not creating an app, but you want to create an AI project, um, you can do that as well. So these are the options that we talk about in the Technovation curriculum. So we have App Inventor, Thunkable, Java, and Swift. The biggest difference will be that App Inventor and Thunkable are blocks-based coding platforms. So it's not text-based. You'll be dragging around blocks. Java and Swift are text-based languages. So you'd actually be typing code. And generally they're thought of as more advanced languages and App Inventor and Thunkable, while powerful are much easier and a quicker on-ramp to learning. App Inventor and Thunkable, both at this point, you can, you can use them for both Android and iOS. So you can use them on Android phones as well as um, iPhones. So they each have kind of their positives and negatives, and they also have a difference in the amount of resources that are available to you. So App Inventor probably has fewer official tutorials online. Thunkable has a lot on their website. Um, and then they also have a growing community with people who are making them. So a lot of what you'll be doing when you're creating a project will be looking online for resources and trying to find other people that have done things um, that you can use to help you make your way through your project. For Java and Swift, there's many, many uh, tutorials out there on YouTube, especially. I just want to talk specifically about App Inventor and Thunkable, since I'd say the majority of our participants use one of those two languages for creating apps. So here's kind of a table of the differences. They both work for, as I said now, for Android and iOS. So that's a new thing with App Inventor this past year. They're both free to use. Thunkable has a limit on their free membership, so you can only have 10 projects, but that shouldn't be an issue. I think App Inventor is available in many more languages. I think Thunkable is actually only available in English. Both of them have many example projects. I would say Thunkable is probably the easier one to test with because you can test right in the browser, but they both have the ability to live test with your phone or tablet. Building the app to actually upload to the Play Store, there's a limit on Thunkable, not on App Inventor. And then in terms of kind of things you might want to do with your app, so some of the features you might want with your app, if you're doing something with maps and location-based, MIT App Inventor has a lot more options with it. Sprites and games, again, in my experience, App Inventor is easier to create, but Thunkable, you can certainly create games with it. As far as storing data on device, they both have that ability. They just do it in different ways. Thunkable has better options for if you want to store ta table data, some more complicated data. In the cloud, I would say Thunkable has a lot. So if you're thinking of an app that's going to be sharing data between users, I would say go with Thunkable because they just have many more options. You can, you can store images and that kind of thing and access them. And then AI, Thunkable has kind of the one built in with Microsoft. So you don't have the ability to train your old model and bring it in. You can do it by using something like an API, but it would be much harder. So if you're thinking of AI within an app, probably App Inventor would be the way for you to go. Uh, don't take this as gospel, but uh, those are kind of my recommendations. Okay, so how do I choose? I'm not quite sure what I want to do. So if you've never coded before, and if this is your kind of your first time participating in Technovation, I would say choose either App Inventor or Thunkable, kind of weigh up the kind of app that you're thinking of building, and then what are the features that will be in it, and then decide which of those fits the features that you want to make for your app. The other thing is just to go in and play with it, play around with it and see if, it, if you're comfortable with it, if you like it, and you might have a preference of one over the other. 
I say generally either one of those, you'll be able to grasp it quickly enough to create your app for your technovation project. Okay, now you're at the next level. You say, oh, I've done technovation before. Uh, I'm ready for a new challenge. Then you might want to consider doing Java. And also if you've had any experience with Java at school or anything like that, because you probably have a, a lot more control over what you can produce with, with a Java app. And then if, I know there's plenty of people who have um, their school or organization that they um, work with for Technovation has shown them how to use some other programming language or platform because there are many more out there, then you are able to use that platform. So if you're doing an AI project, uh, in the curriculum, we actually cover four different platforms. So machine learning for kids to, to train a model, and then App Inventor and extensions that it, that it has. And then there's a couple of variants of Scratch, the programming language Scratch. Um, and that's all talked about in the curriculum. So you can check that out. And it's the general process that you'd follow anyway. So you train the model, test it, and then add it to an app.